Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. I'm cooking once again. Chef Boyar E in the building. Okay, let me calm down. I'm making cabbage. I know I made this before on one of my um, quarantine videos, like a few years ago. I'm making it a little bit different this time, so I just thought I would show y'all what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just browning some bacon. Then I got some chicken sausage. It's already cooked, so I don't really need to cook it that long, so I'm trying to wait for the bacon cooks a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add it in to just brown the meat before I take all the meat out. And then over here I have some onions and some sweet peppers and some garlic. So this new hell journey I'm on is gonna be really difficult because I have to incorporate Zara and I don't wanna like torture her too or make a separate meal. So I'm trying to find a balance where it's healthy and also still filling. So that's why I have meat in it because I want her to be, you know, satisfied with it. I could have did shrimp, but I never had shrimp and cabbage and I didn't want to experience, experiment with that tonight, even though I'm sure it's probably fine. But anyways, instead of using like heavy cream pastas, I'm going to try to switch to pesto pastas because I'm trying to eliminate a lot of dairy from our diet. She's refused to give up baby bell cheese, so that's going to be her pass. She eats those for lunch, but as far as using a lot of cheese and cream and milk and all that stuff in the food, I'm going to try to go more of like a pesto, lighter sauce type of vibe. Just different stuff that is a wee bit healthier than we normally do. That way we both can get used to new stuff and both kind of like embrace it and start doing it like when we're not in the house. So, I'm going to add the chicken sausage now. And then I'm going to let that brown a little bit and then add the peppers. Alright, I'm gonna set the meat aside. It looks nice and brown and it smells really good. Then I'm gonna add some butter up in here. Probably a little more than that so I can brown all my onions. And then add some seasoning. You guys know my regular deglish megalish seasoning. Polo season, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. I might do savor on this time. And some lemon pepper. All right, the onions are onioning. I'm gonna add my garlic. I don't like to add that when the onions are getting brown because I don't like the garlic to be like overcooked. So I'm gonna add that right before I add the cabbage. I got my washed organic cabbage right here. Then we just season it on up. So all your faves, give it a good mix. Didn't know I wasn't recording, but add your, your chicken stock or your uh, veggie stock, whatever. Mix it again, cover it, and let the cabbage cook down. That's really all there is to it, guys. After the cabbage cooks down, you go ahead and add your meats. Give it a good stir. Add some more seasonings if you need it, and then you're all done. Yoshi is already out the shower. It's 8.30, I kind of started a little late per usual. This isn't her preferred dinner choice. Like when I told her we're having cabbage, she's like, Ugh. so. Might not get a high rating today, but you never know. All right, so I'm gonna start it off with a little bit for Yosh, cause sometimes if she doesn't like it, she'll just make me eat the rest. So I just gave you a little bit so you can try it, see if you like it. The grace will be nice. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Sheree. Based off like if I eat it again or just how good it is? Um, if it's good, then of course you would eat it again. So I'm gonna give it a eight. Eight? That's not bad. I'm good with eight, cause uh she gonna eat this tomorrow for dinner. I like it, it's lightweight. I'm about to go watch me big brother, check me a shower, go to bed. You don't gotta rush to eat, but make sure that TV off at ten. Um TT and Auntie said I can go with them on a walk on Monday. I don't care then if they're coming to get you. Because I ain't waking up early when I ain't got school. <laughs> good night. Good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday. Dropped Zara off of school a couple hours ago. Finished work like 30 minutes ago. I'm on my way to the Titan Body Bar for a little self care. Remember, I told you guys that a couple videos back in on Instagram. Me and my mom go here. It's like our third time. It's a black owned business, a small private practice. She's very well, um, what's the word? She been doing it for hella long. So she's thorough and hella nice. So check out her Instagram to see the services she offers. It's more than just what me and my mom go for. And if you live in Atlanta, you've been interested in it, 
make sure you check it out do your research first but that's where i'm going now after i leave here it's usually almost time to pick up zara from school she has guitar practice after school i have no idea what we're doing this weekend it's labor day weekend i'm probably gonna just take her to the pool because we haven't been all year well she's been remember the last time i went with her or i tried to go with her it was like worm city but i think they cleared out because i haven't seen any in a pretty long time so we're gonna hit the pool and don't think there'll be any barbecue action this weekend but you know that's what delivery is for Child, this is how you know I was sleepy. So after I did that, the tightening thing that I showed with that red light, it's skin tightening. She made a lot of sense. She said, cause y'all know I had a child um, 10 years ago. So my skin is not obviously as tight as it used to be, plus I'm getting older. So she said, if you working out and your muscle is getting tight, but your skin isn't like getting tight with the muscle, it could like not show your results as much as you wanted to, if that makes sense. Like for instance, like, you know, when moms get the kangaroo pouch, and they're working out and they got muscle but that skin is just right there and it's not giving what it needs to give to show the muscle because your skin is not tight that's all this is common sense i don't even know where i'm getting at so anyways you have to retighten the skin so that your skin is following your weight loss that's not even what i was trying to the point i was trying to make so after i did the um skin tightening she put me on this machine it's called a m sculpt where it, like contracts your muscle and it's really like like <laughs> It's not a massage, like it's literally contracting your abs. And I fell asleep while that was happening. That's how you know I was dead ass tired because the fact that I fell asleep while that was happening meant that my brain just turned off. Zara's on her way here. My mom, ever so kindly, we actually went to eat lunch after after that appointment. She went to go pick up Yoshi from school and take her to guitar practice and then Yoshi, of course, when she's with other people, and she's used to me saying no, no to Chick-fil-A, no to Smoothie, no to this, no to that. When she with other people, she gets it. So they don't stop the Chick-fil-A and Starbucks. I'm like, if you don't let my mom go from your hostage, like, she's done enough. She's done enough. So shout out to my mom for doing that for her. We all know Yoshi loves attention. So I'm sure she's gonna come in very happy with her Chick-fil-A and Starbucks. I told them I was good because I'm drinking water. And watching First 48, because ain't nothing else on TV. Tomorrow's Friday, looking forward to it, even though I ain't got nothing to do. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm God's favorite, because we are all God's children, we are all God's favorites, you don't have no favorites. But when I tell you, okay, so let me tell you what just happened real quick, before I go to bed smiling like the Joker. So, I was feeling real froggy, I've been feeling froggy. Me only vacationing twice is like, not okay. I haven't even reached a medallion status on Delta, which is like, I can't even get silver? Like, what am I gonna be doing next year? Cause right now I'm sitting on a medallion. What am I gonna do next year? So anyways, fast forward. First I was looking for Beyonce tickets, but I'm like, wow, do I really wanna pay a few racks to travel out of state to go see Beyonce again? Or do I wanna, you know, do something else? So then I was like, mind you, I've already looked up these Usher tickets, right? And when I looked them up, I saw they didn't have like the MGM package anymore. If you don't know what that is, it's Basically a, a group package where they have like Usher, you got a bad Usher ultimate experience, Usher this, where you just get a whole bunch of stuff for the concert, right? So when he first announced that he was gonna add more tickets, I looked to see if he had any, they had any packages and they, had any, they didn't have anything listed. So I'm like, that sucks because if they had a package, I'd get it immediately. So I just randomly, randomly clicked to see if, you know, anything opened up with the packages and everything was open, right? And I'm like, this can't be real. Ran to my computer. So I'm just scouring, so obviously it's expensive as hell. I'm looking at all the dates, trying to see, I'm like, damn, 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 wait. The cheapest date they had was November 22nd. Here's where it got tricky. I'm so thirsty, trying to bookity book before it sells out. I book it for the sec November 2nd, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Booked, it's booked. Confirmed, confirmation, I'm sharing. Yeah, yeah. Going to Delta to look at some flights, and then I'm like, let me make sure I don't have nothing to do, which I what I should have did first. Go to my calendar. I was like, hmm, something's on the 23rd. Thanksgiving, maybe. I booked it on Thanksgiving. Mind you, Thanksgiving's supposed to be at my house. I went into panic mode. What am I gonna do? My mom's gonna kill me. I'm not gonna be with my family. No one's gonna be able to go with me anymore because everybody's with their family on Thanksgiving. What am I gonna do? 
So then I inhaled, exhaled, I called. Man said, sorry, no cancellations, no refunds, no modifications, no exchanges, no, 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 no. And I'm like, sir, you don't understand. <laughs> I have to change this. It's dire. He, call, he puts me on hold, and I thought he put me on hold to never answer again because it was like 20 minutes. Puts me on with a supervisor. Long story short, supervisor was like, we're not supposed to do this. Like, there's a strict policy on the Usher situation. We cannot change modify reservations. So when I do this, you cannot call back to change anything. You're locked in. I said, ma'am, ma'am, I will clean the stage after the show is over if you can change these tickets, okay? I will work the door if you can change these tickets. I will work for this change. You ain't gotta worry about me after this. Switch it and we could. I promise you. She switched it, long story short. So I am booked. I don't have my flight yet, cause one step at a time. <sighs> I'm gonna see Usher. Usher Beyonce one year. <sighs> I'm smiling. Mind you, after I got off the phone with them and was smiling this hard, I had to go upstairs and get in mom mode and yell at Yoshi because she was on the phone at nine o'clock. And I'm like, we just had to talk about you not being on the phone after seven. Now I have to like yell at you. Like, why are you having me go there? And I was just in a very great mood. But as soon as I shut her door and got into her butt, I'm back smiling again because you know, God is good. So I just want to let you guys know, don't give up. The whole time I was on hold, when he had me on hold for 20 minutes, I was praying to the Lord, asking for a miracle. Mind you, this is not that serious. It's not life or death. It is materialistic. I'm not gonna say God just pulls miracles out on all type of stuff. I'm just saying, stay hopeful, stay prayerful, manifest, be positive all the time with everything in your life. I don't care if it's big or small. Hang on, hang on. Sometimes he puts you to those situations to see if you trust him, and I did, he knows I did. What's for you is for you. What's meant to be will be, trust God. He knows what he's doing, okay? I don't always understand him, and I be like, God, what's going on here? And he be like, relax, relax. I know what I'm doing. And then I figure it out later that he he been new, so. Yeah, um, sorry for the rant. Um, I'm about to go to bed, or I'm actually about to uh, warm up some more cabbage, because it's really good, and shower, go to bed, and uh, hopefully have a great Friday. Good night. Oh, what are you giving what? me your letting out glasses? Why well, I just heard your teacher talking about that, the, the walking lady talking about she takes forever to let us out. He went up there, like, I think trying to signal her because this is the longest it's taking for us to get out. And I heard him say, she takes so long to let us out. Like she's prioritizing the other side of the street and we're the ones who just got out of school. I'm like, y'all just not figuring this out in 2023? She been doing it. She been doing it. Anyways, how was school? You have any unsweetened tea for me? Um, well, my teacher, uh, during a drama, she gave me this, um, this, um, this, um, where is it? Wait. <sighs> what is it about, Zara? I got an envelope. About what? I don't know. Well, she did email me saying that- Wait, I found it. Shut up. Oh, sorry. I found it. Yeah. It's I need more than a sorry, because you're tripping. I'm sorry, sorry. Why did she don't email tell me? me? Don't tell me don't Be tell quiet. Me. Why did she email me saying that you just gave her the check yesterday? I gave no, you that. I, didn't. I got an email and she said she tried to co contact me on some app that I don't have, but about the advanced drama fee, but then you just gave her the check yesterday, so to disregard no, it. I Better not have had a hundred dollar check in your back like this whole time. No idea. It was literally in, in the envelope thing. And I told her it was in there. She saw it. She's like, okay, thank you. It was like the same week. Oh, okay. She's just sending out lady emails, I guess. Okay. Exactly. Payment due. Why would she be giving you that? I don't know, mom. What like? Is she, is she confusing with somebody else? Because I'm confused. That, that is, that is right, exactly then. what the email was about you not paying the fee. What do you want me to tell you? I, I want you her. to tell me that you. I want you to tell me that you, you didn't just had a check in my backpack. Yes. No, it was in the letter, and she saw it. Like, what do you want me to say? I gave it to her. That's very strange. It is. That's weird. That's suspicious. Anyways, yeah, I'm trying to figure out my life right now because today is Friday. It's actually a holiday weekend, so if I end up going somewhere. Okay, they go to your sister's or your sister can come over. Why do you make a face? Why are you leaving? 
girl, cause I have a life and I've been working all week. What are you talking about? I took you and Callie somewhere, like, and then um, at some point this weekend, I want to go to the pool. I need to take out your hair. Like, it's not all about you, boo. Get it? Good. All right, big fast forward. Obviously, I found something to do. <laughs> Meeting up with Jazz and Bags. Are you okay? I'll do my little Girl, you don't need to be doing that. Your knee's cracking and you don't even have no reason. My knee's cracked because I was an athlete. Competitive cheerleader. Doing real life I stuff. Up, Your knee's cracking is just, is just weird. Anyway, so she said she wanted to stay home by herself. She just wants to yell on her phone all day. It's my See, this is why I have to get out of the house, because this this right here. This is not cooked. It's it's done. Take it out. It's not very better. I mean, that's why I couldn't leave the house until she finished. Because a grilled cheese sandwich sounds easy. I had to protect my home before I left. But anyways, about to leave now. I will see you in the not in the morning. Well, yeah, because you're gonna be asleep when I get back. So this outfit isn't anything new. I wore this in Mexico, minus the heels minus the jeans and the shorts but oh i shouldn't even show this top because i got banned actually not banned my video got striked did it yeah they said too much breasts i guess <laughs> they're jealous and is <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was my recovery day because you know I went out Friday. I need to recover the next day because I'm I'm that old. Breakfast is Sorry. Breakfast is done. It's noon. I got a late start because this is like the first morning I actually slept in, slept in. Like without, you know, somebody text me, but I was able to go back to sleep. So I got I got enough rest today. Making some breakfast and then I'm gonna take Yosh outside to the pool just for like an hour or two. I'm gonna take us to the pool and then after we get out, I'm gonna make some tostadas. Or I'm attempt to make them. Not like the real authentic ones, but some like it, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys what I do because I've actually never done it before. I just, you know, like I said, I'm trying to change my diet even though I'm doing really bad because after the club, I went to a food truck that had ribs, chicken wings, and macaroni and cheese, and greens, um, and beans, and I ate it all. And that wasn't conducive to my diet. I'm still trying, okay? I was just really hungry. I had a great time, by the way. Like, it was one of those nights where it's not like really planned plan, which are the best, where they're not really like planned out, but they just work out and you have a time. So the weather is still great outside, not too hot. So when we go to the pool, we're not gonna be dying. It's like high 80s. That's like the best time to go swimming for me because my backyard gets direct sunlight. So when that sun is out, it be out. All right, we finally made it outside. I'm just realizing that my backyard, bro, this grass. See, I'm cheap, right? I only get um weed service in the front because even just the front yard is like two thousand dollars so i was like you know nobody can really see back here so i'll just focus on it but um it's bad back here it looks like it looks a hot mess so now i'm gonna have to call them have them start treating the backyard <sighs> being a homeowner is overrated bro i'll say that again and again if you're not ready for these type of commitments don't let nobody press you in a bind, okay? I mean, granted, I'm glad I did because I did before COVID. I got my house for a very great price, but other than that, she's always costing me some money. I just don't understand. She said she wasn't putting her head under the water, but she's... It's so hot. It is hot. And you're taking your braids again out tomorrow, so it's not like you're gonna mess up your hair. The hair is going bye-bye. Even if I don't do it tomorrow, I'm doing it before you go back to school. I don't care if you gotta stay up to three o'clock in the morning. Stop twerking in the water. I'm not. So are you gonna jump in or? What do I do? You might as well jump in if you're gonna go full throttle. Go. That's the only downside about having lashes. Like it really restricts me from some of the common things in life. First she tried to come out here all cute. As you can see, she has on makeup glasses and earrings like baby this isn't makeup this is all doesn't anyway i'm like why are you doing all that and she's like i'm not getting my head under the water so it's fine then she gets out here and she's floating and she's on her phone and i'm like mind you I'm, i came out here for use okay I, I don't mind being out here but i made sure that i came out here today for use and you're on your phone and she's talking about but i am just vibing like, are we really there? Are we at that age? 
are we at that age? It seems like all the memos I'm getting sent aren't really coming through because I don't want to be at that age where I ask you why you're what what you're doing and you're in this pool with your sunglasses on talking about your vibing. Babe, jump in, splish splash, have a good time like you used to do. Like I did. I'm losing my baby. Jump in the pool for mama like old time's sake. Oh gosh. Girl, all this and it's gonna be mid. Girl. Hurry up. Almost got it. Tag by B. Oh my god, bro. Zara. What's happening? What's wrong with you? What? Are you okay? Stop, you're scaring me. Are you okay? Oh, the sound effects, bro. Why are you laughing? Come down here, come down here, come down here. Cause you know I can't save you. Go on Zara! She does this every time she jumps in the car. She goes crazy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yeah. So what was it with all that? Why do you always do that? I don't always do that. Yes, you do. Every time you jump in the first time, you do all that. Just every single time. Oh. You feel better? You cool down? Mm-hmm. Does my backup still look good? It's still on. All right, she's back to parking. Let me turn the music back on. <laughs> it's a vibe! It's a you know that song? I don't know how it goes. That Krishan, that I don't really know if I want you to know who Krishan is, but it's a vibe all the time. Something like that. Good. I'm glad you don't know it. Mm. It's a vibe all the time. I made her a little personal bed. Your neck okay? You look like you ain't got one. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Is there any adjustments I can make? Much oh, girl. <laughs> Wait, let me check the ingredients. Just kidding. We just had to talk about all the stuff we're gonna try to like switch out in our lives because you know America's trying to kill us. I told her specifically we need to try to stay away from is high fructose corn syrup and red dye, which obviously is in Takis and fructose is in soda. So I'll I be checking the ingredients, y'all. It doesn't have high fructose, so you're off the hook with that. This has zero sugar. That's good. Talking about these little sparkling ice things that she likes. They're a dollar. This is my like compromise. You can not drink soda, but you can drink these. Here you go, mad madame. It's not as cold as it was when we first came out. That's off your paycheck. Oh, you know, I was getting paid for this. I'm getting paid for my presents. With your presents? Wow. We want to give kids a better life than we had, and then this is how they turn out. You're breaking down. I can't help you, bro. I can't help you. That's, you was doing too much. You shouldn't have had to drink. You wanted to do too much. When you fuck around, you what? You find out. All right, this is dive number two. Let's see if it's any better than dive number one. One, two, three. I'm about to like party. I was all nice doing a pod here. What? I was telling my food and chat, like, daddy, they can leave. All of them mommies and friends. All of them mommies and back. Girl, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> what the hell? What is wrong with you, bro? Uh-huh. What made you think that that was okay? That was okay. Oh my gosh. I'm raising the heater. All right, the pool was lovely. We are showered and so fresh and so clean, clean. I'm about to attempt these El Tadas. I got some pinto beans and some tomatoes heating up right now. And then I have these shells. So I'm just gonna season the beans and the tomatoes. I'm gonna kind of mash up the beans a little bit so it's more like pasty. And then um, I'll show y'all when I put them on the pan what they look like before I put them in the oven. All right, I got the beans on all of them. Now I'm gonna do the cheese. I told you guys I'm struggling parting ways with cheese, especially this perfect private selection cheese because it's so good. At least it's a quality cheese, okay? Now I'm gonna do a layer of tomatoes. And the reason why I didn't just put the beans and tomatoes and everything together uncooked all just in the stove, I mean the oven, is because 
I don't want to keep the shells in the oven that long. I only want to put this in the oven for like five minutes. Now for the olives. All right, so this is how they look before I put them in the oven. They kind of look like Mexican pieces, just topless and no meat. I'm putting them in the oven for like five minutes or at least until the cheese is melted. Yoshi wanted avocado specifically. So here's what Zara's looks like. You don't want sour cream, right? I'm gonna add sour cream and jalapenos to mine. Mm. What you think? It's different, right? Not different, but it's mm, good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Let's go. Wasn't even trying. So this is what mine looks like. A little more zhuzh. Same thing though, but better. So let me take a bite. It tastes like one big ass nacho chip. Oh, we're gonna eat our lunch. I'm watching on Netflix. I've been watching season two of The Ultimatum, the ultimate show where you fuck around and find out. And today's kind of like our Friday because she doesn't have school tomorrow or the next day. So I'm gonna have a little six o'clock cocktail, chill, eat my delicious lunch, and it's a vibe all the time. <laughs> you looking at me like that, and you're supposed to know the song. It's a vibe all the time. I don't even know if I'm singing it right, so let me stop. All right, it's 12.30. I'm about to go to bed, but I heard Yoshi in here screaming, so clearly she's not. Don't act like you in here sleep, because I was just, okay, so why are you looking like you tired or your eyes was closed or anything? So how was you just screaming five minutes ago? Excuse me? It was a last minute rehearsal. Why is this pillow still not have a pillowcase? I don't want you on that phone tomorrow till this film is clean. Understood? And we doing that calendar over because I don't know if you can't read it because it's too small, but you ain't doing nothing on there. So we're gonna do that over and get it together because this room isn't working for me. You've been on the phone all day, it's not working for me. We literally just talked about this. So I don't want to wake up in the morning and hear you screaming on the phone. Understood? What time? You decided to get picked up at 8.30 when you don't even have school? Go for it, don't wake me up. Good night. Well, who does that? You better wake up at 8.30 in the morning on your day off. Listen, I'm actually, I need to encourage that. She's going to walk. Like her, my auntie goes to walk with my sister. Yo, she said she wanna go. Really all she wanna do is see Nori, but that's her business. But 8.30 on my day off, don't come in my room, don't wake me up. Don't bother me, I'm off. Like, when you don't have school, that I consider that off because waking up in the morning is a struggle for me. So when I don't have to do it, praise him. I'm not a morning person, okay? I wanna wake up when I wanna wake up, which is usually around 9, 30, 10, because it's hard for me to fall asleep at night. Like, granted, waking up at 9, 30, 10 is late, but when you can't fall asleep until two o'clock, it's not that late. All right, good night, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I'm about to start Yoshi's hair. So she is right there. Don't, why are you spraying it over the couch and it's brown? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yo, just take out her braids and um, we still been using the Nizra shampoo for her like dandruff buildup. And I think it's slowly but surely starting to work. I watched her like two weeks ago with it, with her braids and it hasn't built back up, so. I'm gonna keep using it. Are you happy to get these birds out? Yeah, you just said you weren't. Well, uh, they don't look good anymore. I mean, you always look good, but they do need to come out. All right, we got Miss Seeley set up right here with her four braids. Hair nice and clean. She's doing her virtual learning that she's been doing all day. They must have gave her heck of assignments because she's literally been doing it since 10 o'clock. I, on the other hand, I'm, I'm about to make dinner. I'm making Brussels sprouts and Impossible Burgers, plant-based. I also, for the first time, roasted the uh, garlic clove. Those are the shells in Kia. I'm about to squeeze them out and put them in this little dish right here and put it in the fridge so I can have a little pure garlic puree. This is what it looks like now. It's salt, pepper, olive oil, and total seasoning. I actually tastes really good as is. Now I'm about to get a bacon sheet. I heard this little thing on, you know it, TikTok, where it said that fresh vegetables and 
like um yeah fresh vegetables like when you get like peppers or brussels sprouts or broccoli all that stuff from the fresh section they say it's actually not quite as fresh as frozen simply because of like the transportation of it from one place to another it being fresh and it's being transported without being like stored frozen where it can retain its 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 nutrients they said something i i can't really explain it they just basically say it they freeze it from right when it's done so it's more fresh than the fresh because the fresh has to be transported from place to place to place in different conditions which don't make it quite as fresh if that makes sense it made sense to me when i watched it i probably just didn't explain it right so anyway i got some frozen brussels sprouts right here and i unthought them because i'm gonna cut them in half i've never made them this way i usually just boil them butter season them put them in the air fryer but I saw on Instagram a guy who cuts them in half, olive oil, salt, pepper, and all that stuff, and puts them in the oven. And he made it seem like they're crispier. So we're gonna try that. All right, I cut up all the Brussels sauce in half, olive oil, salt, pepper, total seasoning, and laid them all flat for 25 to 15 minutes. I got my bacon bacon in. How you gonna put bacon on a plant-based burger? That just don't make no sense. That's my business. I'm putting not only bacon on it, but I'm putting cheese on it. Who gonna stop me? At least I'm not doing fries, like, one step at a time. I'm trying, y'all. About to put the Brussels sprouts in, set them on the timer, flip the bacon, and I'm cooking the patties on a stove because it's faster. They better hope these increase with size, because why would they have these tiny little patties? And it's like, this don't look like a tiny. This looks like it take over the whole circumference of the burger. This don't. Like, my brioche is, outnumbering you. We're gonna take this bacon off, spray a little, little avocado oil, and these is about to do a magic trick and grow. And they definitely look like they need some seasoning, because these are giving me tofu. These are giving me um, blanche. These are giving me my first mud pie. Like, we need some seasoning on her, so I'm gonna just do total seasoning, and then this lime pepper. Then I'm gonna put some lemon pepper on my tomatoes that I cut up. All right, the Brussels sprouts were done, but I sprayed some butter on them and put them in for five more minutes because they was looking done, but a little dry. Just put some Kobe Jack cheese on the patties. Got some brioche buns right here. Getting those a little toasted. Yo, she's a ketchup girl. I'm gonna do uh, black truffle and garlic and probably like a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce. But everything is done. I'm about to plate it right now. Yoshi's plate right here. This is mine, not the best presentation because I had to smash my brioche buns and they not really looking that pretty anymore. But baby, I'm excited. Um, Didn't get a chance to review those Brussels sprouts. How were they? Pretty good? A what out of what? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Now this is a plant-based burger, so put your phone down and hold it with two hands. I only told you that because you've seen the box. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you and you would have been more honest than you're about to be. But go ahead, take a big bite. Well, well, well. Okay, while she's taking forever, I'm gonna take a bite of mine. Sheesh. Mmm. I know it's not 10, but give it to me. My camera's about to die. I'll give it a, a 9.8. I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. It's not very meat. It's, it's not, not meat. It's not meat. Well, it was a good substitute for me. I could eat it again. Okay. So it matters, baby, because we want plant-based over here. 
Good morning, y'all. You would think it was Monday because it was a rough morning, but I'm about to just readjust. A little late getting Yosh to school. She doesn't have braids anymore, so I had to do her hair. And yeah, we all know that's a task. But I'm not gonna let this morning depict the rest of my week. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna work. I got a lot to do today and tomorrow. So I have to change my mind frame and get into productive mode. I'm trying not to drink no coffee because of the caffeine. I'm trying not to drink no tea because it's soursop tea. And then I saw something that said too much soursop can cause early Parkinson's disease. So it's like, I don't even know what to eat anymore. I'm really confused. It's stressful when you're trying to do something right. And then everybody tells you, Oh, here's a side effect. I don't even know what to do anymore. It's frustrating. I'm still bleeding every morning. That's frustrating. I'm just having a frustrating time right now. You're going to keep messing with your hair all day. Okay, I didn't say it needed to be pulled down. You're just gonna keep making it frizzier. Is this how you wanted your hair? Cause you asked to wear it half up, half down. You don't like it? Everybody got attitudes this morning. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Make sure you check out Yoshi's video tomorrow. Until next time, love you. Bye.